not sponsored, by the way, just so we're clear. Today we're going to be developing 120mm film with the lab box. So here's what you're going to need, the lab box and the 120mm film. So we have a couple of things we have to do to prep the lab box to make this work out. First of all, I'm going to move the film aside. We're going to take the lid off. The lid, 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 the lid. Okay, we're going to take this piece out, right? That's the film loader. We got to take the little knob off and uh, I have the Kickstarter edition so I have this nice crank as opposed to the typical knob so if that looks different no big deal okay and we're gonna remove this I'm gonna come back to that in a second so we got to remove the whole back which is the part of the tank that's for the 35 millimeter there's a little slot right down here all you're gonna do is press that and then slide it up it's a little awkward to do from this angle but there you go so it just slides pops right off now we can put the 35 millimeter back aside for now. Doesn't matter. What we need is the 120 millimeter back. Now, if you didn't purchase the 120 millimeter back, of course, this isn't gonna work. So we're just gonna connect those two back in place. And there you go. Okay, so now our tank is almost ready. We have to do a couple of other quick things. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble our reel just by twisting it and pulling these plastic pieces off to roll our film onto. And those just twist and slide right off. And we're gonna replace them with the 120 millimeter parts of the reel. Now we wanna make damn sure that we don't make the same mistake we did in my initial video for this. These are both labeled. So you have a L for left there, L for left right there. The L should be on the outside. So you line these suckers up. You make sure the, uh, shit. <laughs> Pop it on, you twist it into place, and then you make sure that these two leads are lined up with one another. You do that and you're good to go. Do the same for the right side. The R should be on the outside. The really important note about assembling the reel is that these leads right here need to be lined up and matching each other. And once again, like the 35 millimeter one, it can be assembled incorrectly. But the idea is that these two will guide the film in. So as the strip comes in, They'll line onto there and they'll go through. So make damn sure, <laughs> take them back Sunday, make damn sure that these two are lined up. I emphasize this because I ruined a roll of film, so don't make my same mistakes. In the future, Lab Box 2, please just make these reels only assemble in one way so that people don't put them together wrong and fuck up their film. Anyway, back to the reel. So we'll just slide it straight in here. And then what we're gonna do, I like to just dangle that like that so it doesn't fall in there or whatever. We'll take our crank and put it right in there. And make sure the reel is all the way in, otherwise the crank is not gonna fit into place. Once the crank's in, just make sure you lock it and you're good to go. If we look in there, we can see that yes, indeed, our crank is turning. Okay, excellent. The last thing we gotta change now is the film loader. So all we're gonna do is just stretch these guys apart they should just slide right out. They should just slide right out, there we go. Okay, and we're bringing these to the end here because of course the 120 millimeter film is gonna be larger than the 35 millimeter. Now we can put that aside and grab our roll of film. We're just gonna pull a little tab off here. You're gonna wanna extend the tail from your film and we'll just slide it right through here and pull that in and make sure your film is sitting comfortably right in here. We'll clip this down on it. And we're gonna make sure that this is set to the triangle. So this is straight up and down. Basically this controls the light type part of the container. So we'll open this, the film will drop in and then we'll close it to keep it safe and strip the paper away from the film. So we'll put the cover on now. And now we can slowly and carefully just pull the paper off of our film. So this will come right out. So it'll stop right here when you get to the number one. And that's how you know you're at the end. So what we can do is just kind of pull that off. You could just discard that paper for now. And before we do anything else, we're gonna take this knob now and turn it to the square. So now we can lift the lid off again 
And because we turn that knob, our film is now safely protected in the light tight part of the container. So all we have to do is remove the end of the film and we want to do so carefully so we don't pull the film right out of the light sealed container. Okay, so we can just discard that as well. You're gonna put the film guide back in and then we're gonna take the film lead retriever, whatever this thing's called, and clip it right onto your film. We wanna make sure that we're getting that right in the middle there so that it pulls on evenly and doesn't get bunched up. Nothing like that, obviously, that will mess up the film. Okay, so we'll clip that back down and now we're gonna cover this up again. Okay, and now we can open up the light sealed container because once again, it's covered, we're nice and safe, it's on the reel, and now we'll just carefully and slowly advance this. So I have my stopwatch ready, I have my mono bath right here, I'm just gonna pour this right in and we'll do a constant agitation. The instructions recommend using the half full method with constant agitation, that's 250 milliliters. Oh. Fucking. Yikes. Ah, uh, oh, sweet loop photography. This is why you're here, right? Well, from the other video where I shot in the rain, I learned that my phone was waterproof. I hope it's also mono bath proof. I hope no problems develop. Shot. Okay, I'm gonna agitate this and I'll check back in with you shortly. After you're done with your chemistry, you can wash everything out and then pull your negatives out. Just make sure you unclip the little clasp at the bottom there, otherwise you might rip your negatives. But apart from that, pretty straightforward from here. You can hang them to dry and then scan them or print them, whatever you're gonna do with them. Anyway guys, I hope this helps you out. I know a couple people wanted to see a tutorial and honestly, no offense to them, but the official lab box tutorials are kind of lame. Um, so I hope this brought you some joy uh, and some information as well. So hey, make sure you smash that subscribe button and uh, follow me here and on Instagram and Twitter and uh, Discord and uh, MySpace, of course. Come on, I got some room in that top eight. Why don't you, why don't you come be my friend there? And hey, buy a shirt, support the channel, Links in the description below. Make sure you share the video. All right, guys, until next time, I'm gonna miss you. Bye. So, hey, make sure you smash that. The super, the super important, basically, this controls the light seal. And, oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> You're gonna make, okay. Just make sure you unclip the little clasp on there, otherwise, you're gonna just kind of like and subscribe. Sweet Lou Photography, the man.